Hello YouTube, um, my name is Chen Wei Chen. Welcome to Chen Studio. Uh, today's Chen Studio is a little bit different because we are at the gym and we are doing some exercise that helps people's hamstring, uh, inner thigh and also upper body so you can get strong enough for your part to do. And can you introduce yourself please? I'm Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Fernando. Um, so yeah, today Fernando is gonna help us to do some um, what exercise are you doing helping with us? Um, I'm just going to do a few different exercises I've picked up over the years, uh, mostly just to train your um, your adductors and your hamstrings. And why are you going to help us? Um, I'm going to do some upper body. Don't touch me. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some chest and some shoulder and some bicep and some tricep. Good. Okay, so let's get this going. Welcome to Houston. And you are from Royal Ballet School, and please share a lot and um, as much uh, knowledge as you could um, with us. <laughs> well, just in in any athletics, uh, there's a pretty strong focus on like the front of the leg. When you're running, you're doing a lot of work. Yeah, uh, it's really easy to get quite strong and bulky in the front. You use it every day, going upstairs and all that. So it's uh, but it's really important to maintain a just a very balanced body. So um, I put a lot of emphasis and focus in my training on uh, strengthening my posterior chain, which is basically my, my hamstrings, my lower glutes, uh, parts of the adductor and calf and all that. And that just kind of helps me uh, balance everything out. And um, I've had pretty good results so far. That's great. That's great. I'm sure this exercise can help us jumping and turning and all sort of um, strength that we need. OK, so let's start with the first one. Yeah, sure. So for this exercise, um, all you're going to need is uh, just a flat surface and any kind of roller. Um, this one is a nice solid construction, but I've used it, I've done this exercise with uh, just any kind of foam roller. Um, yeah, so here we go. So you're just going to put it flat uh, on the table. And you're going to want to lay back mm -hmm. and then bend your legs um, and put them on the roller at about kind of like a, a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to do a little hip extension bridge. And then once you're up here, uh, thinking about keeping your hips nice and square, you're just going to do little pulses bringing the roller in. So you do one, two, three, four, five. And you go down. Okay. It's important to, to think about the, the range of motion. So you don't have to you don't have to go way out and bring it way in to feel this. You just want to work within that little piece of range here, about two to three inches, where you just bring it in and out. And you want to make sure it's controlled and that you're keeping everything quite nice and square. Okay. Okay. Let me try one set here. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. So you don't have to bring it that quite as far out. You want to probably stop about there and just work within that range. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Okay. When I did it, I could not feel how much, how far did I go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make sure that you you, you shouldn't go out more than ninety degrees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Second one. Uh, so this one is it has a pretty similar premise. Um, it's another hamstring one. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to get this yoga ball, medium size. You can do it with any uh, with any size ball, but I prefer to do it with this one. And you're going to want to just put your your legs up like this, nice and straight, hands just to your side, maybe about seven or eight inches out from your from your waist. Lift up, kind of like the bridge, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring them in and out. And with this one, you're going to utilize uh, a much uh, larger range of motion. Um, so you can bring it all the way in and all the way out. I only do this as a warm-up because uh, I actually prefer to do this next exercise, which is uh, kind of a progression okay. step. Okay, so this one is actually uh, very similar to that one. It's just a, a progression. Uh, it's just a bit harder. Okay. Uh, I know Chen Wei loves this. No. Uh, I've showed it to him <laughs> last week and he, uh, or two weeks ago. And I cannot do it. Let's see. Let's see if you can do this. Week. 
Uh, about halfway up your calves is where you want resting on the ball, because when you bring it in, uh, it's going to roll down anyways. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go up, but then you're going to want to shift the ball slightly to one side, then you're going to release one leg. Then what you're going to want to do is every time you bring it in, you're going to alternate straightening the other leg. So this is one, two. All the while thinking about maintaining your hips uh, on the same level. Yeah, you get the you get the picture. I'm just gonna even out on the other side. For the record, that's that's the ball, not me farting. <laughs> you probably want to do the same setup. So put both of them on. Okay. And then go up, and then shift it to one side, so you keep the balance, and then. And the harder one is without the hands, and that you really need to use your abs yeah. and hamstring and I'm, and I'm still everything. struggling to tackle that one. So. Yeah. Then what you can do is you can play around with the arms, bringing them up to the side, and that's really, really hard. You're basically just using your... You can really feel your hamstring here working. So I got a lot of pressure from the student that they asked me like why they cannot feel the inner thigh. You can do that before the class, and it's very good warm up. And you do that too, right? Before the class. Yeah, I like to do incorporate some of these into my warm up because, yeah, like you said, it's important to uh, before class not only to warm up and get your uh, blood circulating, but it's also good to activate some of those vital smaller yeah. muscles that may not have already been activated throughout your day. Right. Okay. So um, let's do the next one. And you're just gonna put this just about here in line with your hips. And then you're just going to put that top knee and rest it there. And all you're just going to do is just raise this leg up and raise down. Raise the inside leg. Up and down. Yeah, and that's just going to trigger your uh, your adductor. So adductor. your inside thigh. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, is my, this is my favorite pose to sleep. If you just put that there. Yeah, you can do that in bed. Yep. If you're feeling lazy but you want to do something. Uh, but that's just good to, to kind of work that. And that's going to help you with... Uh, Maintaining your firsts and your fifths and yes. pretty much anything. Okay. Uh, I do about three sets of uh, three sets of ten. Three sets of ten, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this one you have to watch how your uh, how to say the speed and the height and make sure your waist is keep keep them straight. So this uh, next one. Okay, so this one's really simple. Um, you're just gonna use one of these. Uh, this one's called an ultra fit circle. I've seen others that are called magic circles. There, and you might want to use a, a hand to, uh, to support it in case it just decides to fly out. All right. Just to kind of work on the power, okay. but then the control on the way out. And then you can also hold at the end of a set. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know the basics of uh, muscle contractions, but you've got a concentric contraction, which is when your muscle is shortening, an eccentric contraction, which is when the muscle is lengthening, and then uh, an isometric. Uh, your muscles get accustomed to a system of training and then they become kind of complacent. Right. So you want to make sure you keep shocking your muscles with different methods. So if I do uh, three sets of ten one week, I might switch it up and do Next week. Okay. five sets of fewer or fewer sets of more just uh, to work on different elements of muscle conditioning. So with this one, you just kind of want to get a band and just tie it basically anywhere. Uh, you can tie these on like the posts in valley bars or like around a a bed frame or something. Just anywhere close to the ground, that's pretty secure because you don't want it flinging back up at you. Uh, so basically what you just want to do is just get somewhere where you have a bit of resistance and then you're just going to want to bring it in and then back out. And it's funny that a lot of um, comment that I saw, they're like, how can you do a very good sis? Uh, this is one of the exercises you should practice. Can I try? Yeah, absolutely. You're probably going to want something to, uh, somewhere to hold on to. And, wasn't the best spot, but. Yeah, and my muscle tend to just follow the band to go out. Exactly. Yeah. You can also do it uh, to the back and to the sides, because when you do uh, like a tendu or a jeté, for example, you get to the front, because you want to keep that oh, nice and yes. cross in front of your standing heel or wherever you've been taught yeah. to keep it. Because a lot of people, when you do tendu, can you do tendu? They tend to be here. 
Yeah. So make sure you are using your inner thigh, that your point, your toes is right in front of your to uh, your heels. Yeah. That's very good exercise. Uh, thank you so much for your exercise. Pleasure. Um, Thanks for having me. Hi everyone. I don't need to introduce this guy. He's a supermodel. He's Reese. Um, well, welcome. Thank you. Excited to be here. So what's the first exercise? I'm going to start with some chest. Okay. All the way flat, but one up. So this will be flat. We just have it up one. One up. For me, I'm going to do 40, but Chan Wei might want to do five. <laughs> so we've got a heavier weight and we just take it up like that and we do, I do around 20, just like this, okay. don't go past here, keep it flat, horizontal, yeah you can go further, yep, that's horizontal, okay, so I do three sets um, with 20 to 25 reps, okay, yeah, so one, two, all right, good exercise. One, two, three. <laughs> Next one. I have no idea what this weight is, but it's like a three. <laughs> um, and then what we do is we just come to about here and we push downwards and we squeeze the center of your chest every time you... If you put your mind to, I'm working out my chest right now and not my arms, it really does help because you think about tensing everything in your chest at the same time. Same weight. We get both pliers. We lunge outwards and we pull upwards this way. And stop around your hip. And don't go like up here because then that's not your chest. This is your chest. So it's under your chin? Yeah, kind of stop. Um, where your hands are in line with your chest. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these are super simple, but just um, really great for tricep and um, chest. So, move. <laughs> so we go. We have our arms kind of like this, shoulder width apart, straight, like a normal push up, and then we just go down with our elbows by our sides. So you don't want to flare out this way or this way. You want to keep them really flat towards your body, like this, and up. I usually do 12 to 20, three times. Okay. Yeah. That's simple. Simple. <laughs> Is that real? That's not your workout. <laughs> Is that your workout? They can't see me. <laughs> You're there. going to see me. Don't you I'm going to get a 25 on each, and I just do 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and then I stop for a second and do um, about sixteen of these. You want to try and get to twenty, but if you can't, because it's pretty tiring, is sixteen is good. Yeah. So you do twenty of those. Yeah, and a lot of people they make mistake by doing the waist and lift up. Yeah, try and keep your core tight. And you don't want to rock into it even when you get tired. Yes. So we have our dumbbells, we bring them up here. We want our bicep section of our arm to be horizontal to the ground. Mm -hmm. And then we just take them up and keep your back straight. So you want to, you don't want to arch your back, you don't want to stick your bum out, but you want to just keep it flat to the back of the, the, the chair. chair. And then we just come down and up. And after my 10th, I bring it in, cross it, out, up, and I do 10 of those at the end. Yeah, that's good. And after 10. Whoa! Yeah, it's hard. There's some muscle that I totally don't have. That's why I advise 25 to start. Okay, so thank you, Reese, so much. No worries. Um, this <laughs> exercise, I'm gonna keep it up and try to do it as much as I can through the week. Um, will you? I will try. We'll At see. <laughs> so that's all exercise we got for you. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much to share your knowledge um, for all the audience who are watching the um, channel studio. And please subscribe and follow or like. And uh, <laughs> please comment. Um, see you next time. <laughs>